Hi everyone! Five decks you will need to start a joyful terror journey. And I'm a traditionalist in a sense. I think if you want to learn tarot, of course you can do it with any decks, but why don't you start it with some traditional decks so that you can actually grasp the system of tarot. And I know that there's different theories, you know, you can do open reading forever, you can read in intuitively, you don't have to learn tarot system, but in my opinion, it's great to learn tarot system and then leave tarot system if you feel like it, okay? So I would definitely suggest go for any Rider Waite Smith um, traditional deck there is because most of other decks will be based on Rider Waite Smith. So if you know how to read the traditional images from Rider Waite Smith, you will know how to read 80% of decks out there, right? I probably right now, if I was learning tarot, I would start actually with Tarot de Marseille. Any Tarot de Marseille will do traditional decks um, with pip cards because also when you learn reading pips, you expand your way of reading tarot, you um, learn more numerology as well, you learn how to notice connections between the cards. Tarot de Marseille is amazing when it comes to cards flowing into one another and there is connections, it's smart, it's amazing, it opened my eyes on how to read tarot and how to connect cards with one another. Tarot de Marseille, Rider with Smith and of course top system and uh, top deck would be three decks that definitely should be in your collection when you're starting a journey with tarot and when you're learning about different tarot systems uh, because these decks uh, Golden Rider or like Rider with Smith and Tough Tarot come from the same systems, right? They come from Golden Dawn, uh, have similar copper, um, uh, similar associations, similar um, astrological associations and so on. Um, but um, Tarot de Marseille is more poetic, I would say, right? And then I thought what uh, would be another two decks. So while you have all these traditional decks sorted, this for three systems of tarot, I would suggest grabbing, grabbing a deck that you like the art of. Um, and in this case, I'm thinking more for intuitive reading. So art that is full, you know, when it comes to images, art that has beautiful artwork that speaks to you, that you can like jog off with your intuition in many different um, directions, okay? So a good intuitive deck, in my opinion, one of many, you know, I just grabbed it because that just came into my mind, is Tarot of Mystical Moments because the artwork is beautiful, it has a lot of things to go off on, it has creates plants, it has a lot of like imaginary worlds. I think for intuitive reading, when you can practice maybe reading without any system, one of those decks would be cool. And then grab a deck that is a totally different, like not really so much reminding you of Rider Waite Smith or something else. And I picked Story Medicine Tarot because it has such a unique voice, unique art, something that is totally off, throws you off what you've learned about those systems, you know, and that actually challenges you a little bit to step outside of what you learned and tackle your intuition even more. So based on what I said, three decks for three traditional system of tarot and then two decks that break off these systems or follow them very loosely that give you a sense of expanding on your tarot, tarot um, journey and that bring you fun and that you actually connect to the artwork of these decks. That would be my recommendation for five decks um, that you need to start a joyful tarot journey, you know, creative tarot journey. And at the same time, learn tarot, right? Because tarot has history and why not learn it? And then if you don't like it, drop it, you know? Anyway, thank you for watching. See you soon.